So, uh, Nate. Yes. How old are you, Nate? 25. 25. Right. You're 25 years old and you're in real estate. Right. So, tell me a little bit about your your previous work experience. So, my previous work experience, I have a background in accounting and I uh, have about a year and a half of experience with that. Basically, what I did was I worked for corporate company doing all their accounting work, you know, everything that they need done, um, and yeah, and as far as real estate, I got into real estate uh, while I was working at, in accounting because I love real estate, that's what I like to do, and uh, so I worked for a company called Rise Properties, and uh, yeah, been doing that, been like an acquisition manager, handling all like the deal flow and stuff like that, and getting properties from them, so. Okay. Spence, you've also decided to join this project and dedicate your time, your intelligence, your, your physical body work, stuff like that. You're, you're pretty much doing this all for free. Why is it that you're, that you're willing to give so much to a project like this? Uh, so I only give my time and effort to things that I believe in. And for this particular project, I believe in all that it can be, all its potential. You know, an effort like this that's willing to uplift a town, bring up a community, help residents, uh, bring revenue. These all seem like, you know, reasons to join. I mean, it, for me, it was a no-brainer once I heard just, you know, how much effort was put into it, you know, where the direction was, and, you know, uh, all that. Okay, that's fine. Ozo Revitalization Project. Even even before that, I was working in construction for 15 years. I literally walked off the job. I said, I'm not doing this anymore. What made you, what took you to that place? So, working for other people makes you realize what's actually possible. I worked on apartments that were $50 million and the guy only stayed there on one side of the year. Impossible. And I just got to thinking, you know, he's he or she isn't any smarter than anybody else, but they achieved this sort of dream life that, you know, a lot of people want. Clear things up outside a little bit. We're good. Okay. Oh, people be coming to go, which is good. All right, yeah, yeah. All right. All right. Action. So, Blair, what's up, man? Uh, so, I'm here. All right, so yeah. tell me, tell me what your goal is. So, talking like, like let, me, let me, let me, let me, let me rephrase that question. Say you, you go to sleep one night and you wake up in the morning and you're in your dream life. What does that look like to you? So for me, that's being able to uh, wake up, you know, take a nice uh, rainforesty shower or something, just to go through a real refreshing morning, uh, you know, no pressure to, you know, run up and do stuff, and then have the uh, time, luxury to kind of be like, all right, now I want to like get into my work and, you know, like really dig into the stuff I love that I probably went to sleep thinking about. Right. So, right. And what is it that you love? So, I mean, I'm a creative person. I've got my technical side and everything like that, but I love making things that, you know, people can do something with, like interactive stuff. I mean, whether that's like tools or physical art or ultimately for me, uh, you know, gaming and design, where you can really sink your hands into a story and feel something. Like I'm going to get the conversation, yeah. but what made you decide to take on something like this? So originally I was looking at different opportunities for video work um, when I came across your job post 
and it kind of struck a chord with me um, to reach out to you because um, for one, I've always considered myself like an advocate for other people's causes and you know helping them get their word out and as we started to talk a little bit more I saw some of the things that could possibly happen you know um, I think that I'm kind of a big supporter in my own community for helping to rebuild the community and knowing that's something that you're trying to do in Roselle I thought that was a very good thing hearing more about your team and your different backgrounds and I said okay I could see this as something that can actually happen. 